Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the ethics of cyber squatting, or how I call it, cyber realtors versus domain terrorists. In my presentation, I'm going to be talking about the law that passed against cyber squatters, the ACPA, the actors involved, the ethics argument, the provisions, and the outcomes that I see. First of all, what is cyber squatting? Also regularly known as domain squatting, it is the act of purchasing a domain name with the intention of reselling it to the legal trademark owner for a market up value, although there may be other motives. An example of this is if a person bought uh, McDonald's.com and then tried to sell it after to McDonald's before they had the domain, but they asked a ridiculous amount of money. Cyber squatting was made illegal by the federal law that passed in 1999 called the Anti-Cyber Squatting Consumer Protection Act. The law was needed at the time because many large companies were being forced to pay large amounts of money to buy the domain name. Under the ACPA, a trademark owner may bring a cause of action against a domain name registrant who 1. has a bad faith intent to profit from the mark and two registers or uses a domain name that is either identical or confusingly similar to a distinctive trademark or b identical or confusingly similar to or dilute a famous mark oftentimes the ethical actors within these conflicts have been the, the large companies that are trademark owners versus, versus a small domain name owner or speculator. Critics of anti-cyber squatting mention how we live in a capitalist nation and that how is cyber squatting any different from a person in real life purchasing land or property. They do that often. They do it to invest in properties and hope that it gains popularity in the future for great profits. Defendants also mention that their freedom of speech are being violated. On the other side, the bigger players claim that it is simply domain terrorism because the cyber squatters are holding on to the domain until they are paid a huge value for them. The other problem is that these unofficial websites lead to trademark identity theft and trademark dilution, which is bad for business and bad for society. Now, what does the Anti-Cyber Squatting Act say? It says that it must be clear that it was done in bad faith, and this is where it gets controversial. The law states nine factors that will be considered to determine whether a domain name has been registered in bad faith. The first four count in favor of the alleged cyber squatter. If the registrant has any trademark or other intellectual property rights in the name. 2. If this is legal or the nickname of the registrant. 3. The registrant's prior use of the domain name in connection with the good faith offering of goods and services. 4. Lawful, non-commercial or fair use of the mark in a website under the domain name. The remaining five provisions go against the cyber squatter. Number five, intent to divert to a site that could harm the trademark owner's goodwill, either for commercial gain or with intent to tarnish by creating a likelihood of confusion as to source, sponsor, or affiliation or endorsement of the site. Six, 
offer to sell the domain name without having used or having an intent to use it. 7. Intentional provision of misleading contact information in the domain name registration application or the history of such conduct. 8. Warehousing of multiple domain names known to be identical or confusingly similar to distinctive marks or dilutive of famous marks. And 9. The extent to which a mark is distinctive or famous. Aside from this law, if we use the ACM provision 1.3 that states they must be honest and trustworthy, but often they are being deceptive with their website, gaining traffic to it by using the identity of the trademark not belonging to them. In conclusion, although this topic dwells in gray areas, those are the best ethical tests we have. And since the internet keeps gaining popularity, a clear and honest online environment is pivotal for business and the advance of society. Thank you.